Hi everyone, it's Anissa from Two Traveling Texans and today we're in Norfolk, the Norfolk Broads in England. It's a national park. As you can see, it's a beautiful area, a wildlife preserve. Specifically, we're at Howe Hill. A lot of people come to Norfolk Broads for the boating. You can see, um, you can rent a boat. Behind me, there's also the wherry. That's a traditional boat that you could take on, you used to be able to take on the Broads. And we are going to do our own uh, boat tour called the Electric Eel, and we're going to see some of the wildlife in the area. Let's go find the boat. Oh, there's an example of one of the boats that you can rent. You can rent them by the hour, you can rent them for a whole day. But it's a lot of fun to explore the area. It's a pretty big, um, pretty big area with a lot of different um, bodies of water, different rivers that you can go on. Behind me, you can see the electric eel. That's our boat. So we're off. So it does kind of remind me of the Everglades. <laughs> okay. I've never been there. But a bit. I did a, a lot of people I did an air boat said that. Air yeah. boat tour. Okay. There, I don't know if you've heard of this. The yeah, airports yeah. they just like stay up above the water so. Big fan. Yeah. 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 But there's there a TV have... series back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pretty. It's absolutely glorious. So can you explain why this is the first time you've been on the glass? when you grew up not too far from here. I have no excuse at all. <laughs> I shall hold my head in shame, yes. <clears throat> and this channel we're on at the moment is actually the original, the original river. Um, it's the beginning of a meander, which would have added probably about a mile and a half to the navigational routes. And the bit of water we just traveled up was a shortcut created at least, at least two, uh, 200 years ago. Wow. Probably a lot older than that. Wow. Just down amongst the reeds there, you can see some freshly cut vegetation. There's a few leaves there and a few stalks, just on the mud, uh, beyond the first line of reed. Yeah, just ah, there. Yes. That's, uh, that's been gathered by waterfall. Okay. It's a sure sign of waterfall. Uh, so we're going to go inside this bird hide and see what we can see. I've never been in one of these kind of things. Okay. So is this, is this a way you can watch the birds without yeah, bothering without, them? Yeah, without disturbing them. Oh, yeah, that's so the nice. idea. Oh wow. So that was a nice little <coughs> walk and a little, well, we could have stayed in that bird hide for a while. <laughs> we, we saw a, a bitten, which is a bird I never heard of, but it's a very rare bird. Um, there's only about a hundred left in, in England. And of course we saw um, some other birds like seagulls. I even saw a swan. That was a nice little walk. It's a really beautiful area. You get a, it's nice that you get a different perspective with the walk and not, you know, more than just being on the boat. Now that it's 
So the next thing we're gonna do during our visit to Howe Hill is do the nature preserve walk. Um, we're just gonna take, here's the map. Um, we're gonna skip over this part by the river because we already saw that on the boat ride. And we're gonna do this loop here. Um, it's about a mile and a quarter. Um, and Brendan told us to allow about an hour. So let's see what we can see. So it did rain yesterday, so he warned us that um, this part, this first part where we're gonna have to cross a kind of field might be a little muddy. You can kind of still see the um, broad boat. I guess we have to keep our eyes open for any wildlife. It could be anywhere around us. Hopefully we'll be lucky and get to show you guys some neat things. There's a butterfly behind you. Wow. A, a yellow one. That part was a little muddy. Well, not muddy, just like a swamp or something. Oh. Little bridge over the broad, so pretty. So, I just figured out the signs. In the book that you get, there's a little section that explains about each sign and something in that area. So in the area about the panda, it's talking about the bamboo. So then you get the connection with what the sign is about. So when you do this um, nature trail, make sure you start reading the booklet as you go through the um, nature walk, not when you're more than halfway through it. <laughs> That's my tip for you. So, you know, we've been relaxing here. It's so peaceful inside this um, bird hide. So um, we could stay here for a while, but we've got to keep moving. There's the panda. I guess next we're going to look for the bug sign. <laughs> Some pretty big bees on those flowers. Are you taking us the wrong way? Uh, we missed the bug. We're already to the flower. Mm. Wow. Some of these um, dragonflies are almost the size of small birds. We found oh. the cow marker. Now. It doesn't show really this option, so let me go this one. The secret garden. We thought we were a little confused if there was the entrance back there. It said private garden, and it was like, is it private garden the same as the secret garden? We weren't sure, so we kept on walking, and now we found the entrance. Let's check it out. It's nice that the secret gardens are free. They just ask for donations. Wow, and you can learn about all their different plants that they have. I think we picked a really good time. Um, right now it's the beginning of June, so a lot of things are in bloom. Even the lily pads. I just love the flowers with the lily pads. It's so pretty. Look at this. Look at this, um, I guess, dead tree now. But 
all these um, all this ivy and other greenery growing on it turned into you know turned into something so you know something dead into something so so beautiful So that's the secret garden. That was a nice little walk. A lot of um, different flowers and some interesting greenery that I hadn't seen before. So it's definitely worth a stop. Like I said, it's free to get in. You just um, give a donation. Now back to the trail. So we made it to Cow Hill House. It's right um, in front of me. Now we're gonna walk on a track back to Toad Hole Cottage where we started. We really have had a lovely time at Cow Hill. First, we went on the boat ride, the electric eel, and then we did our own self-guided nature tour, nature walk, and we saw the secret gardens, which was just lovely. So if you're in Norwich or the surrounding areas, come out to Howe Hill, spend a few hours. It's really close to Norwich, only about 30 minute drive. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more information on my website at www.2travelingtexans.com. Thanks and see you next time.